If you've ever had a ball come at you in this area, it can be very difficult to hit. It's almost like the Bermuda Triangle. The ball wants to come in, but it doesn't want to come back out. Today I'm going to talk about how to hit these balls. I referenced the Bermuda Triangle because I think this area is a triangle. Between the shoulders and maybe the top of the head or the forehead, this area in here, if a ball comes really quickly, it's difficult to get a paddle on. Martina Navratilova, the tennis legend, talks about this a little bit in a video. I'll put the link to that video in the description box below. But she talks about any ball that's kind of in this area has to be a backhand. It's just very difficult to make this a forehand shot. And so we're going to talk about how to hit these as backhands today. How do we hit these balls? If this ball is coming at me in my center mass, right on my center line or my spine line, that ball is coming where it's coming. If I want to hit it well, and it's difficult for me to get my paddle here, what I need to do is move. There are two ways for me to move. This ball is coming where it's coming. If I want to hit it well, I have to move. The first one is I'm just going to slide over out of the way and try and put my paddle there and hit this ball. The reality is if I'm going to slide out of the way, I have to move my entire body mass. For me to do that, it's a lot more effort and it takes more time just to physically move this much weight out of the way to get my paddle in front of that ball. It's a slower method and sometimes I don't always have time to do that, so here's an alternative. Option number two then, these balls are coming really fast at my center line of where my spine is. I want to get out of the way so I can hit this ball well. I want to hit it as a backhand, what do I do? I do what Neo did in the movie The Matrix and I lean out of the way. I kind of matrix out of the way. Since I want to hit this as a backhand, I take this left shoulder, drop it back. I take most of my body weight from the waist up anyway, and lean heavily over my right foot. So this ball's coming really quickly in my center line. I'm in my ready position. Left shoulder goes back and I'm leaning heavily over my right foot now. If I stay here long, my right thigh is going to start screaming at me because most of my body weight is over here, but I didn't have to move anything from the waist down. The advantage here now is I have room to swing get my paddle on this ball and I can uncork this twist that I have in my torso and rotate back into this ball and get some power on it. So I don't have to block all of these balls. I don't have to try and reset them or drop them over the net. I can turn this into an offensive shot if I want to do that. Let's go hit some of these balls and see what that looks like. All right, so I want to stand here so this ball's coming right into my center line, right? And so these balls are generally pretty hard to hit. If I were to do this, I can't do much with this ball. It's going to be very weak going over, and now I've just given my opponent another weak shot that they can maybe try to attack. So if I can and get my body out of the way, I'm going to lean back, get my body out of the way. Now I have a chance to do a little bit more with that ball than if I just stand here and do this. Yeah, I can stay in the point that way, but did I help myself long term? I missed that one badly. So in my ready position here, my left shoulder goes back. All of my weight goes over on my right leg. And then if I can have time to twist forward into that ball, I missed that one badly. That's why I'm drilling is I can get better the more I drill. Obviously I don't do all of these well, but as many as I can. So if I can get out of the way, Right, so if I stand here with this ball coming here, this is just a very difficult ball to hit. I can't do it with a forehand. This backhand is going to be very weak. If I start to lean out of the way and drop this shoulder back, lean over on my right leg, get my body out of the way because this ball is going where this ball is going. The only thing I can do is move my body and give myself a better position, give myself more room try and hit this ball. That's kind of what it looks like I'm trying to be like Neo in the movie The Matrix. Dodge these bullets a little bit. Right, so practice this. Practice this on both sides and even if I have a slower ball coming at me, it doesn't mean I can't do this same motion and get my body out of the way. Even though maybe I have time to slide over and get out of the way. I may for some reason not want to slide over and then have to recover back. So if I don't move my feet at all, then I don't have to move over and then recover back. It's just a simple way to get my body out of the way 
and try and hit this ball well. That's what it looks like. I hope you found this helpful. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. I would appreciate it. Oh.